My name is Brad McKinnon and I went to Warners Bay High School. I always wanted to do a giraffe and the concept was to show in society that it's okay to be different. It has shapes that go through it. The colours are really, really bright, bold. And I think the colours really create the meaning behind the artwork. Is you don't want it to just be bland. You want it to come and shoot at you. So I used paper um, as the main backing. I used, also used canvas. But I used um, mesh. I used calico. I used acrylic paint. But I also used house paint. Compared to the acrylic paint that you get at school in the tubs, it, the house paint was just completely different. It just had a better shine to it and it just had a different texture to it so that's why I opted to use a lot of house paint at the end. So the artists and art movements was first of all Andre Durain, um, Cezanne, all those guys part of the Fauvism movement because they did something that was never done before, doing bright bold colours you know, never done. Before that it was just plain old monochrome colours, just boring. They went out the realm, did something bright, and that's what I wanted to do with my artwork. So the Visual Arts Process Diary was essential to the project. It was a way of documenting everything I did as well, so I could keep up to date with everything I've done. Um, it, it was pretty important to the overall piece as well. It made it a complete piece, having the, the diary and the, the artwork together. To be selected for the first class exhibition is just an honour. It's, I would never have thought at the start of year 12 making the artwork that it would be in the art gallery. Because it was always the middle of the road, but this, this year I just thought, well last year even, just go for it, do something different, and um, no, it's just an honour.